Hello, this is Eldritch. And this is Paige. Hello. And we have returned to Thief. There's been a bit of a time skip. Oh my. I've already finished the heist with my partner. It went very, very poorly. Oh, really? Yeah. We were trying to steal some kind of gem, which turned out to be magic, and there were lots of magical bursty explosions, and she died, and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was kind of shot in the eye by one of the explosions. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would say it went badly. Yeah, yeah. So now I've finally woken up after... can't remember how long it's been. Maybe a year or two? Or five? I don't know. Some number of years. You woke up after five years? Well, some number of years. I can't remember how many years. So you're like in a coma? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So now I'm just trying to get back to my old hideout. I didn't, I didn't expect a coma story in here, but... <laughs> wow, jeez. Well, welcome back to the land of the living. Uh, Garrett. Garrett is his name, I think. Yep, it's Garrett. Wow, jeez. My quest for shinies continues. <laughs> that is That is awesome. Shinies! Oh my gosh. Lovely shinies. Just climbing buildings... While it's raining like crazy, looking for shinies, trying to get back to my hideout. Awesome. Gotta get back into the swing of things. Absolutely. Need to get some jobs, steal some precious items. Some shinies? So were you in a hospital all that time? I guess somebody had to be taking care of you. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Yeah. They were actually carting me off to somewhere, but then I woke up. And then they were caught, so I just snuck away. Oh my. Okay, so they were carting you off to, like, sell your organs on the black market or something like that? No, no, I don't think so. They were bringing me to their headquarters. Okay. Pretty sure they were the people that were trying to take care of me. Okay. But we know for sure that your whiny ex-girlfriend is dead. Well, not for sure. <laughs> That's just the impression we were given when she was shot by a beam of mystical energy and disappeared. Oh, but I remember last video you did take her claw away from her. Now that had nothing to do with it. It okay. wasn't my fault. Okay. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't saying it was your fault. <laughs> I, was just, I take well, no responsibility. <laughs> no, no I, I know. It was not your fault. It was not Garrett's fault. You robbing a kid or something? Or is that a guy? I can't tell. Oh, that was a guy. He was just working on something. and. Oh, that's why he was so short. I don't know. I felt like knocking him out. <laughs> It was just really short, but he was, I guess he was, like, kneeling down or something. Eh, it might just be that I'm really tall. <laughs> You're very tall. Not sure. You're a very tall thief. Oh, my. I'm not sure if that would be a very good thing. Well... Because you could reach ledges and things like that. Yeah. But then at the same time, you're much more visible. Yeah, S situational. I guess somebody just lying there on a pallet of wood. Yep. All right. I'm not sure why that guy was examining the dead body outside during a rainstorm, but I don't really feel bad about knocking him out now, so. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he was up to any good. Yeah. Whoa. Yep, it's quite rainy. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make this jump. I'm not sure. Oh, you can do it. Hopefully. <laughs> she climbing a ladder. Yep. Just going up high. Good vantage point for any loot. Shinies. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the shinies. It's not about the backstory, it's not about the whiny ex-girlfriend, it's not about the coma. It's all about the shinies. Yeah, that's what it boils down to. It's a very simple and elegant life of a thief. <laughs> yeah. Block picking, yeah. Yep, it's pretty easy so far, but I'm sure it'll get harder as the game progresses. Is it easier to pick locks in this game or in Skyrim? Hmm... It's probably easier in Skyrim. I see. 
<laughs> but it's pretty easy in both games, honestly. And just with this game, you've got the added worries of being caught, and there's multiple tumblers and parts to pick. Whereas with Skyrim, it's just the one lock, and once you find that sweet spot, you're fine. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Lock picking. I wonder if it's ever sunny in this city. <laughs> Seems like every time I've been out, it's been it's been night, and I think well, no, it hasn't been rainy every time, but I'm sure it was kind of drizzly the first night. It was definitely misty and overcast. Yeah. I wonder if it's just that Garrett only goes out on nights that have good conditions for him, or if it's always night. I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine it could always be night, but I'm sure... I just mean when I'm undertaking some kind of mission or something, you know, when I'm doing something in the game, if it's always going to be night. Was it day that one time where you found the arrow with the rope on it? I can't remember. Was the sky kind of... Oh, yeah, I think it was in the tutorial. Yeah. It might have been... I think it was right before sunset, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I can understand, you know, he's a thief. He doesn't want to go out unless it's dark and it's easier to steal things. But mm -hmm. occasionally there should be some reason for him to do things at other times. And I don't know. I mean, there are some times, like if he wants to rob a place of business, it might be easier to do so when it's open versus when it, like at night it would be closed. That's one possibility. Well, it depends, though, because if it's open, then there'll be customers and more people around. Um, so it's kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. I've never heard of that phrase before. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> more lockpicking. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of lockpicking. <laughs> That's a big part of a thief's life. Absolutely. I'm sure they dream about picking locks. Lockpicking is interesting. In this game? Well, in general. Mm. Have you ever tried to pick a lock in real life? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Really? Well, I maybe like in like when me and my sister were very young, we would try to like put a paper clip inside of the little hole in our like doorknob to see if it would open. Mm -hmm. Never worked though. You had to use the actual key. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the only thing that might qualify as attempting to lockpick. It was pretty pathetic. <laughs> eh, when you're a kid, I mean, that's, that's pretty much just how it goes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you have any lockpicking stories or episodes? Not really. I did the same thing as you, except I actually picked the lock. Wow. Good job. And... <laughs> Well, it wasn't that impressive. Uh, we couldn't do it. <laughs> eh, I've always wanted to try picking like a, I don't know, like a more intricate lock. Cause the one that I, well, the ones that I have picked have never been really too difficult. Yeah. Well, it's hard to come up with a situation where you could actually practice something like that without judgment. <laughs> yeah. Shinies! Yep. Just random, shiny, silver things. Awesome. Random shinies are the best shinies. Not really. The random shinies are usually not worth a whole lot. Aww. They're plentiful, but each one isn't worth as much as the main goals on thieving missions or, like, hidden secrets like the, uh, the necklace that I got in the tutorial. Hmm. In my... Kitty heart, all shinies are created equal. <laughs> well, that's a beautiful dream. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I just think they're all wonderful. I want to bat at them with my, my paws. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> you just get that urge. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I could understand if it was like a dangling tassel or something like oh that. Oh my but god, tassels. Oh gosh. If someone just stuck like a shiny silver knife in front of me, I don't think I'd try to bat it. Tassels are wonderful. <laughs> okay. I think there are viewers out there who know know what I'm saying. Maybe. 
<laughs> the shinies and the tassels and the danglies. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think Garrett knows what I'm saying, too. He likes the shinies. <laughs> yes, he does like the shinies. And there are plenty of shinies in here because it is a jewelry shop. So, kind of a thief's paradise. More than usual, although not as much as I would expect from a jewelry shop. Yeah, that's true. There aren't as many as you would expect, are there? Unless he just had, like, the owner just had, like, a major sale and he doesn't have his next shipment in or something. Hmm. Which would be bad luck for poor Garrett. Yeah. That is strange. Oh, well. Well... Uh... Busy collecting all of the necklaces and bracelets and random things. Maybe where he lives is just in a recession. I mean, recessions breed thieves, don't they? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett's been a thief for a long time. I wouldn't really call him like your standard thief. I don't know. It's not just an opportunistic thing with Garrett. He's an artist. Yeah, exactly. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> it's so funny when I say something and you're like, yeah. <laughs> it's great. You don't want to like... Yeah. You don't want to like <laughs> immediately say I'm crazy, but... <laughs> you wonder. No. You wonder. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm very used to being crazy and people thinking I am a bit odd. It would probably be pretty difficult to make a decent living as an actual thief. It would seem so. I don't know if it was different, like, in this time period. I'm not sure exactly what time period this is. That's a nice mask. Yeah, that was one of the goals. One of the big treasures to steal. It's Mardi Gras! <laughs> yeah. You gotta have a mask for Mardi Gras. Shiny. Shiny cup. Is that a dude? That's a dude. Yeah, he's just taking a nap. Okay. Don't worry about him. Okay. He's just napping. He's tired. Absolutely. He's had a long day. Works hard. Yeah. Shh. Don't wake him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a heavy sleeper. Yeah, I would say so. Shiny, shiny coin. Is there electricity? I can't remember if we've seen, like, electricity. Has it all been candles? There is electricity. Okay. I actually turned off the lights in this room before I started looting it. Okay, I totally didn't notice. It was very distracted. No, oh, and there's... Uh, actually, I can't tell if that's a lamp with a candle in it or a light. Yeah, it's hard to say. But there are... there is electricity in this. Okay. Perhaps the wealthiest can afford the fancy electricity. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. You're on the rafter. Or the ceiling beam or whatever it's called. Yeah. I think it's a beam. What is beam? I think it's a beam because raptors are inside of like the attic. I'm I don't know. I'm not good with architectural vocabulary. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Shiny, shiny. There's no shiny. Get all those shinies. We can't miss any of them. Well, <laughs> you say that. But there's a lot of secrets in this game, so I probably missed a whole lot of really, really expensive shinies already. That makes me so sad. I want all of the shinies. <laughs> all of the shinies. Does it ever show Garrett, like, actually going and selling the shinies on, like, a black market to get his money? Because I assume he's got to, like, get the money so he can live and stuff. Yeah. Shinies! Come out, come out wherever you are. If it never shows him selling it. If you've noticed so far, as soon as he picks up the shiny things, it gets added as money. So yeah, that's kind of their way of cutting out 
that part of it. Just cutting out the middleman. <laughs> yeah. It does ha- happen. I mean, it has to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's just that you never see it. Yeah, yeah. Garrett's just such a good thief. He's been at it for so long. It's just, it's just, it goes without saying. It's a foregone conclusion. Yeah. And a little while ago, he just realized that he has a power. Dun, dun, dun. He does. Yeah. That magic beam that hit his eye gave him the ability to see things in blue. (laughs) So it's like, um, I don't know what I could compare it to. He just sees, like, valuables or interactable objects highlighted. So that's their way of introducing that kind of, I don't know, basic video game hint system. Ah, so he can see through walls, or does he have to be in the same room? Well, that probably changes with skill points or however that works. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can buy upgrades and things like that. But as far as I know, right now, he can only see what he would normally be able to see. He can't see through walls or anything like that. Okay. But it is very useful. Absolutely. Especially considering how many things I'd probably miss without it. Yeah. We gotta get all of the shinies. No shinies are safe. It's a neat power, and it's, like, oddly specific to his line of work. I wonder if the magic just gives you whatever power that would be most useful for you. I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure if there are even rules to it. Magic tends to not have rules. Well, yeah. I w- I meant like specifically for this game. Mm. Obviously, I'm just at the beginning, so I can't really say how well they fleshed out the whole idea, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. But it's still neat. Yeah. And we're in the alleys again. <laughs> just carrying this glass bottle with me. Aw. You-, you made a friend? Yeah. The bottle is my friend. (laughs) I'm not here to judge. My name is Garrett. (laughs) Hi, Garrett. And I have a problem. (laughs) Oh my goodness. It's been two weeks since my last meeting. (laughs) Oh my. Your bottle is so shiny. it's, It's like a shiny in and of itself. If only it was worth as much as a shiny. (laughs) Uh, Yep. Yeah. Glass is pretty common, I guess. But it's still shiny. It has value. Very, very little, but yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Ugh. Guards just talking over there. Just chatting away. Easily slipped past them. Of course, I'm kind of torn up about which way no torn up kind of lost (laughs) you're so torn up about it (laughs) which way do i go yeah i understand it's a big decision yeah yeah but in the end it doesn't really matter because it wasn't actually a separate path it it all leads to this one area all roads lead to where you want to (laughs) go Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Captain's ordered. He said go stand under the window of that woman on Bleach Market. Her with the face that the rakers would throw back in the river. <laughs> Try to make it crack a smile. Ugh, these guards. They're in the way. Stand out in the rain. It is shocking to me that they couldn't see me when I was that close to them. Especially when it got all bright for a second there. Yeah. Is that lightning? Yep. Yeah, it seems like you were standing right next to him and they were like, do do do. I finally kicked the habit. <laughs> Good job. And I'm Garrett and I am a recovering bottle hoarder. <laughs> it's been three weeks since my last bottle. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who like, genuinely has any addiction issues. <laughs> I just realized that might sound a little insensitive. Uh, sure people can tell you're joking. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> it's just being a joking kitty. No! 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 For all our cat viewers. 
<laughs> spoke just spoke to you a little bit. I want to be inclusive, you know, to all audiences. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Maybe I should throw in some other foreign languages. I don't know. <laughs> Mix it up. Maybe, yeah. Any requests? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't say that because I can only speak three languages, and one of them I can't speak very well at all. Right. Well, that was the end of this mission. Didn't do wonderfully, but I think it's a good start. It's an excellent start. This has been Eldritch. And this has been Paige. Thanks for watching. Bye.